A GitHub Actions job that uses a matrix strategy allows you to create a single job definition that automatically runs multiple times. Reusable workflows now support matrix strategies. Let's see how this works. Hey y'all, I'm Mickey Gousset, and in this video, we are going to look at how you can use a matrix strategy with your reusable workflows. Before we jump to a demo, let's get an understanding of exactly what a matrix strategy is. A matrix strategy lets you use variables in a single job definition to automatically create multiple job runs that are based on the combinations of those variables. You see the matrix type strategies used a good bit with open source software, where the maintainers want to test their code against multiple versions of an operating system or framework. In a job, you use two keywords, strategy and matrix. Then, under the matrix, you define the different variables and variable values. When the workflow executes, it will spawn multiple versions of the job based off the variable combinations. In this example, it would create four different jobs, as shown on the right. OK, let's dive in and see what we can learn. Let's look at an example of using reusable workflows with a matrix strategy. In my repository, if I go to the .github slash workflows folder, you can see I have two workflow files. We'll start with this one, the My Starter Workflow. Now the My Starter Workflow, we give it a name. We're triggering on Workflow Dispatch, so we're going to trigger manually. And then we're going to define our jobs. Now the first job we're defining is called Build, and it's going to run on Ubuntu Latest, and it just has a couple of steps. One that checks out the code, and one that runs a couple of echoes. The second job is called Call Workflow in Local Repo. And that job, ignoring lines 20 through 20, through 24 right now, calls a reusable workflow called Reusable Workflow 1, which is in the same repository as this file. So you can see I'm using the uses command and I'm pathing it to the file I want to use. Now you may notice that I'm not putting an at version on the end of this, and that's because when you use the using command or use the uses command, and you're pathing to a file in the same repository, it's always going to run on the same branch as the file that called it. And then finally, I'm passing in one parameter to that workflow file, in this case, a parameter called node, and I'm setting it equal to 8. Now, if we go look at the reusable workflow file, we can see that we give it a name, it's using the workflow call event, which is what defines this as a reusable workflow. And we have one input called node. And you can see we have one job that has a couple of steps that check out the repository and then outputs the node value that was passed in. Now in this first example, we're not using the matrix strategy. We're just calling a reusable workflow like we normally would. And if we go to actions and select my starter workflow, and click Run Workflow, then what we'll see, if we go and watch this workflow run, is that we have two jobs, as we would expect. One called Build, and the other calling the reusable workflow, and then the job in the reusable workflow called Build. And if we look at the output from the reusable workflow, the output is 8, as we would expect. But what if we wanted to call that reusable workflow over multiple versions of Node? Well, one option would be to go to the My Starter Workflow and add multiple jobs, one for each version of Node. But instead of doing that, we can come in here and we can add to the Call Workflow in Local Repo job the strategy keyword 
followed by the matrix keyword, and then we can define any variables that we want to be part of this matrix. In this case, I want to define a variable called node version, and I want to test this reusable workflow or run this reusable workflow over these multiple versions of node, 14, 16, 18, and 20. So what we'll do down here is we'll replace the parameter we're passing in. Instead of hard coding a number, we're going to say dollar sign curly brace curly brace, go to the matrix and get a node version. In this case, we have a variable called node version and put that into this parameter that we're passing into the workflow. Now, we're going to spawn a job for every variable combination that we have. In this case, we have one variable, node version, with four values. So how many jobs do you expect we're going to spawn of the, from the call workflow in local repo? Well, let's go find out. We'll commit these changes. We'll go back to the Actions tab. Select My Starter Workflow, and we will run this workflow again. And now, if we go and watch it run, you'll see that we have the build job, as we would expect, but then we also have four versions of the call workflow and local repo job running. One for each version of Node that we passed in, and you'll notice that it puts the variable combinations in the label on the left hand side to make it easy for you to understand what's happening. And because by default all jobs run in parallel, all those jobs will run in parallel. And if we go into this particular job, we can see that it did output 18 for the job that used node 18. I hope you've enjoyed this video on reusable workflows and matrix strategies. If so, please comment and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and smash that bell to be notified of my next video. Thanks for watching.